I want to see that trap. <laughs> oh, my hip. What you should call it a trap, base. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? <coughs> you okay? You all right? I'll show you a trap. Who's a trap? It's a trap. I'll show you one. Where? Well, let's see, you should get into painting that porn stuff. You make a lot of money doing it. Yeah. Send it to Fox News, and they'd be like, what? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, so... Is that a waitress? Yeah, it's a stewardess on a uh, plane. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, she's going to bend over. Snacks. And then, and then her dick's going to flop out or something? No, no, no. It's, uh, here's water for you, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, could I get some salted nuts, please? And then she bends over, and she's like, yeah, sure, go ahead and grab them. And then they're, 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 and he keeps wearing his girlfriend's clothes. And he gets into oh, weird that's, things. That's like Kit at work. That's he, he tried to do that one time. Wear his girlfriend's clothes? Yeah. And then he was getting in, into an argument with Fabio about it. Like, Fabio's like, dude, don't wear that. He's like, dude, what the fuck are you... Yeah, he's like, why do you want to do that? He's like, no, I just wanted to do blah, 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 you know. Well, what was he wearing? I don't know, but, like, his girlfriend came in, and then she's like, yeah, he wanted to wear my shorts or something. I don't know the full extent of it. I just okay, I didn't. Know. I was thinking like he actually showed up because like no. if it's anything like this, well then he she he is wearing her underwear and all that kind he of. Probably shit. Probably does, but no, he's been his latest thing is he's got this really gay looking uh, earring that's like straight out of nineteen eighty four, and he wears it at work, and it's like <clears throat> Jesus Christ, you look like such a tool. <laughs> but yeah, this one uh, he he went to go get a job, so he works at a sushi place. But he works as one of those people, the the naked girls uh -huh. that has food covered in them, but he is a naked man. Oh, they're... yeah, I've seen that. And then someone's like, they're talking business, and then one person grabs his penis, and they're like, what kind of sushi is this? Huh? Do they do that, really? Is that a thing that people do? Oh, I'm sure there is. Yeah, they get the naked people to have the sushi on them. Weird. And then this one is the same thing, basically, except for... Um, he is wearing his girlfriend's swimsuit and puts a little mask on and then goes swimming. And then the big jock guy is like, uh -huh, you're, you're pretty cute. And then he gets a boner and runs away. <laughs> okay. That's, that's basically been Shad Base and I have been very uninterested. You're just like, no, he's a shell of his former self. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well. All good things must come to an end, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, okay, well. Done with that for a little bit. And then he's got this other guy who's been, um... I say, wasn't there, like, another site that you looked at, too, or no? No. No, it's just been him. Oh, okay. But there's been another guy who's been, like, doing comics for him. And all he does is, like... It's always the same basic thing. Really tiny girl and, like... Big man? At least three massive cocks. Oh. So like, massive, like... It's like those porn ads, man. It's like the ones where, like... Play this game and you'll come in five minutes. <laughs> you'll come three times in five minutes. You'll come minutes. three times in 18 minutes. But, um... It's like, uh... If he puts the penis... Where he would be inserting it, uh -huh. like it would reach all the way up to her tits. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like the the dragon pee pee. Yeah, it's basically like going to go and wreck her entire body if he <laughs> shoves it into side of her, and then he does, and she gets filled to the brim with cum until she looks like she's pregnant. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 his thing. So it's just the same thing over and over again. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay. I'm done with you people. <laughs> I'll come back <laughs> I'll later. I'll make my and own check. porn. It's going to be 50 times better than yours. It's going to be tiny penises and 
big women. <laughs> Your thing is micro penis <laughs> and like really big vaginas. <laughs> It was just like, I can't feel a thing. This gets me all so hard. <laughs> like, it's just, <laughs> his vagina is devouring his body. <laughs> that is another fucking group that some people are super into. Giantess women. Yeah. Giantess spawn. I think there's some collectibles in this level in the water, but I don't care. I ain't doing the 100% playthrough like you promised. You bastard. How could you? <laughs> how could I teach people how to beat this 100% a game that came out fucking three years ago? Wee. So, Billy, you're gonna get Days Gone for your PlayStation? <laughs> What's Days Gone? That new zombie game coming out, it looks really generic and kind of boring. Um, no, I don't have a PS4. I know. <laughs> Is it going out on the computers? No, I think it's supposed to be a PS4 exclusive, but I, it doesn't really look that great. How can that gun hold all that water that was just in there? In the same way that the girl can hold all the cum in her body. <laughs> <laughs> it just expands until she looks like she's pregnant. Yeah. And then when you pull the penis out, it comes out like a fountain. Yeah, see? Just a fountain of cum. You know how it works. You get, I do. You I get understand completely you how get it works. what's going on. I am the man who knows. <laughs> I'm the man who knows things. <laughs> I'm the man. I know things. <laughs> Especially when it comes to pregnant women that are not actually pregnant. They're just filled oh, with cum. It's too slimy. I can't fucking grab onto it. Now you gotta put more water in here. Stupid! Like I hate shit like that. Like you just waste your fucking time. I yeah. hate it. Like why do I like, have I, to go back to do this? Am I just? Can I just fucking climb up? Am I just that at that point in my life where I just I'm sick of games doing that shit? <laughs> like, like why do I have to do that? Like the ledge is there. Just let me climb up it. That's the thing. Is like some people want linear, Probably. where you don't have to backtrack and do like silly things, and some people want like a. I don't mind sometimes if you can backtrack, but if you, can, if you do it right, like in a Metroid-type game, then it works for me. But that sort of shit, where it's just like, we gotta arbitrarily make you waste, like, 20 seconds just to... Yeah, go back and just, put the water yeah, back Yeah, go up. back, put the water back in. And there should have been just a back. thing right next to it that you could do it. Yeah. But I guess the reason they didn't do that is because otherwise, like, then it would have negated the whole need for you to lower the water in the first place. You would have just swam to the ledge and then climbed up it. So why not just well, do that? Well, you needed to open the door. Yeah, so why not just do that, though? <laughs> Instead of me having to fucking put, like, three extra steps in there that don't need to be there. Because, Taylor, it's a video game. Video games are supposed to be fun. Video games are supposed to challenge the player by you know wasting the time. <laughs> yeah, you know what's fun? <laughs> wasting time. <laughs> There's so much goddamn waiting. Well, that's the thing, too. Like, there's, like, so many people now who, like, value, like, the amount of time it takes to beat a game and the actual quality of it. Yeah. Like, I remember I played Fallout 4. I thought that game was really boring. Yeah, I didn't like Fallout 4 either. I just didn't really think... I mean, because it's just, like, I played it for, I think, 30 hours, 40 hours. I, I played it for... And I didn't even beat the story, I and I'm I just, like, bored. 40 or 50 hours, and, yeah, I beat the story, and I'm like, well, this game sucks. And then as soon as I get to the DLC, like, because I, I got the Game of the Year edition... For like ten dollars, I, I got it used at GameStop, and then like luckily the code still worked. So yeah. I got I got the Game of the Year edition for ten bucks, and it was like yeah, it was just uh, as soon as I got to like the Far Harbor shit, like I stopped playing because I'm like this is just the same shit. Over yeah. And over again. You know when that kind of trend started happening? What game that I think started it? Oblivion. Skyrim. Skyrim. Yeah. Oblivion was definitely a catalyst, but. Yeah. Skyrim. Hundred Scrim. Hundred and ten percent I don't know if I can use that one. I don't know I have to. <laughs> Can't be that one. It's gotta be gotta be that one? No. 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 It's gotta be that one. Alright.
tube. And you can you can skip these two, I think, if you wanted. But I just... oh yeah, you have an auto hack feature. Yeah. But you want to prove to yourself that you're a real man. Well, that and, and partially that, but also the fact that like I think you get some extra bolts and shit if you beat them. Makes sense. <gasps> you're gonna need all those bolts to get the rhino, right? I don't know if you have to spend. Yeah, maybe you do have to spend money. I don't remember. I can't remember either. I'm like, ah. Oh. And that's what I was like. <laughs> Me too. Huh? Huh? Oh, I'm dying. You got this, Taylor. I believe in you. I believe in you. Oops, I hit the square button on accident. Whoops. <laughs> See, that's the type of game I want. You just hit the button and then the game's over. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you don't get anything out of it. I don't care. <laughs> it just sounds wanna... like you don't want to play games. <laughs> no, I mean, just in this particular instance, I'm like, I just wanted to get past that. You know, there is just so much goddamn waiting. And like, there is. That, that is, is That is very That true. is the problem with America. Is that I want everything now. There's just too much goddamn waiting. I don't know. Has there been a lot of those other games, like those games recently, where like there is just like it's wide as an ocean, uh, but as deep as a puddle type of thing? Yeah. Has there been more? Like what's what's been one? I can't even think of any recently that are like that. There's a whole bunch of games as services, kind of. Yeah, I don't like. I don't like that. Pretty much all of those, like, you can make somewhat of an argument about being like oh it's huge but there's nothing in it like no man's sky that's how i felt about like i haven't played it but red dead 2 kind of looked like that to me i haven't played it though so i don't really know i can't really judge i haven't played it so i, I just think i just think those games are overrated like i don't think they deserve like the tens that they get that's all like they're good games i'm not saying they're bad games it's just kind of like i'm you know. saying they're I I mean they're they're not for me. I didn't like the first game. I didn't like the first one either. But I'm I just thought saying, it was very like, boring. I'm just saying like I think obviously like Rockstar has like a, a mark of quality in a lot of their games. Like they do obviously put a lot of effort into them. They put a lot of detail. Yeah. But then the gameplay kind of sucks. Yeah. <laughs> like the gameplay's not that great. Like I liked playing. Like all oh, the story and the characters are great, but the playing the game is boring and shitty. Yeah, I like playing. Um, Grand Theft Auto V story, but after that I had no interest in playing. Well, even then, the story still sucked. Like, the story yeah. is not good. No, it's always the same. Yeah. So that's what I don't understand. I wasn't, a, like, I wasn't a person that was a person that did things. I used to be a criminal, but now I'm trying to live a new life. But and then they pull me and back And then they pull me back in. Because somebody came back from my past. Yeah. Or... <laughs> that's like Red Dead also. It's the same thing, dude. Or I tried to get, do a new life and... Like... Pulling me back! I know that's generalizing it, like, or simplifying it, but it's still, like, essentially the same thing. So, I don't know. Like, whatever. If people like it, that's fine. I just, like, I, I just bring it up because, like, the other day I, I went on, on Metacritic just to... I wanted to see what um, the score was for Sekiro. And I'm pretty sure, like, uh, critically, critically, people really... Or, like, the critics like it. And then, like, the user base, obviously some people put some negative reviews because they, it's, too it's too hard. So I think the user is at, like, 7, 9, and then yeah, the that's, that's critic, right. I think, is at, like, 90 or something like that. Um, not that it matters, but I was just curious. And then I look at, the like, the all-time ones, and then, like, fucking Red Dead 2 has, like, a 97, and I'm like, eh, I just can't agree with that but i have it looks like, really pretty yeah it looks pretty the story and, looks like it could actually be a lot of fun yeah like i hear that they did they developed the characters really well but it's just like the gameplay i've heard from a lot of people like falters at times and you know i don't know and then even like the the random chance encounters like repeat after a certain point which makes sense i mean like i'm not gonna fault the game for that but i don't know maybe i just don't like that uh, theme or that setting yeah. of cowboys and shit, you know? I can completely understand that. I just think it's overrated. You could even say the same thing about Grand Theft Auto, man. I think the Grand Theft Auto games are a little overrated, too. 
They're a fun thing to fuck around in. Yep. That's, that's about, about it. it. That's about it. Oh, like, I'm not going for them oh, to... Shit. I'm not going to them to get, like, amazing gameplay no. or an amazing story. Nope. I'll play something else if I want one. That's kind of why, that's kind of why I want, like, I want, like, um, I wish Rockstar would do something outside of their comfort zone. Like, I wish they would do something, like, maybe not an open world, you know, maybe, like, in a different setting that they haven't done before. You know, maybe they did, like, a sci-fi thing or something, you know. Or like a or like a stealth game, kind of like what Manhunt was, but like make, maybe not as gory or something. Make Rockstar make the next Mass Effect. Yeah, Mass Effect Andromeda. Because I think I think, Rockstar they, edition. I think they have good storytelling. It's just the stories that they tell are not particularly interesting. No, oh, yeah. But watch. We're gonna lose a subscriber from this video. <laughs> but watch. It's, some... it's gonna be fucking. They're gonna be Andromeda two. And the trailer's gonna be, well, I'm here to make myself a new life after uh, being a space pirate. <laughs> being a space pirate. And then uh, the <laughs> first thing is gonna be like, hey, I'm a I'm character from your from past, your past. <laughs> character from your past, and no! I'm very ambiguous. No! Time to come back. No! <laughs> <laughs> just literally, the character falls onto the ground, puts his fingers yes. in the sand, and just gets dragged away. No! <laughs> That's what would happen, dude. <laughs> you're like, you're not far off. That's what would happen. It's like, no! I have to go back to my old life! A life that I've tried to abandon! <laughs> Why can't I get away? <laughs> Why can't I get away? <laughs> Milky Way! And that's the opening credit song. <laughs> it's like, Milky Lenny Kravitz. <laughs> Alright, next time I change the we're gonna play Red Dead 2. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.